what I work on is regeneration. In one of the X-Men movies, we have Jean Grey, and she's throwing all of her powers at Wolverine. He's getting all cut up, and his superpower is regeneration. As much as Jean Grey is, you know, like ripping parts off of his body, um, he just can just grow it all back. So when I was doing my PhD, I was really interested in this kind of special type of worm that you can see here in this video that I think is even more impressive than Wolverine. So these are marine worms. Um, they live in the ocean, uh, specifically around Bermuda, and they have this amazing ability of whole body regeneration. So what does that mean? In this video, I'm holding a knife and I'm carefully cutting the animal into three pieces. And after you cut them, each of these pieces actually survive. You can see that they're continuing to swim around. Um, and amazingly, they can even grow back. So if you let these pieces hang out for a little while, each of them will regenerate any parts that are missing. Um, the piece that was swimming around that was the head can regenerate the tail. The piece that was swimming around that was the tail can regenerate you know, the middle parts in the head. And the piece that was swimming around that was the middle section um, can regenerate both the head and the tail. And this, I think, is really, really impressive, um, especially given that normally um, in the wild, each of these worms has unique pigment patterns, but they've managed to regenerate the correct pigment pattern, like where to put their stripes. So these worms are called the panther worm. I also worked on another type of worm, uh, which is called the planarian flatworm. And they have uh, these cute little googly eyes, um, and their scientific name is Schmittea metatronia. And just like the panther worm, when you cut them up, they can fully regenerate all of their pieces, which is really, I think, amazing. These pieces have to be put in the exact right place. So, you know, let's take this worm. They have a head on this side of their body, a tail on this side of their body, and they need to figure out where to put it. So we actually know some of the things that allow them to know where to put it. And the reason we know that is because we can change it. And when we change it, they no longer know where to put their head and where to put their tail. So for example, the genes that say this is tail. If we get rid of that gene, it no longer knows where to put a tail. And then it thinks it's just supposed to put a head everywhere. And so instead of, you know, making this nice normal looking worm, it puts a head everywhere. So it puts a head here and puts a head here and puts a head here. And then you get these sort of like monster looking worms. Each head thinks it's the most important head and is trying to drive the worm in that particular direction. So one of the other special things about the worms um, that I haven't talked about yet is their reproductive organs. So for example, this is a special picture of one of these panther worms. And if you cut it right here, you're gonna get rid of all of its eggs and sperm, which live up here, and yet they can make them back. The fact that they can regenerate their eggs and their sperm and the cells that can make eggs and sperm is really, really amazing. And the reason why now I'm especially interested in figuring out how you make eggs and sperm is because eggs and sperm, which we sometimes call collectively as the germ cells, are immortal. The germ cells, the egg and sperm, because they are the things that come together to make a new egg, keep going on forever. And so I want to figure out how you make those cells that never, ever, ever die. They just keep on going and going and going. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually looking in the fruit fly. And I'm trying to figure out in the fruit fly, if you get rid of all of its germ cells, can it regenerate them? And if you can make a cell that wasn't a germ cell before, immortal, then what does that actually mean about cellular immortality and maybe person immortality? But I'll be sure to update you all uh, when I know a little bit more.